Yo, what's going on everybody? The past few days have been awesome. We've been breaking down each individual Lost Galaxy Ranger and in this video we're going to wrap it up with Leo Corbett, the Red Lost Galaxy Power Ranger. Let's get into it. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy, Braz, Dan Brosnan, in the building. Welcome, welcome to the show. I am so excited to have you guys today. We are closing out Lost Galaxy, filling up that Power Rangers video database even more. In this video, we're going to finish it off with Leo Corbett, the leader of the Lost Galaxy team. One of my favorite Red Rangers all time. This character had heart and he wasn't quote unquote the chosen one, but he was chosen for his own destiny and path. And that's a big reason why I love this character. So let's get into it. Leo Corbett, the courageous and determined Red Galaxy Ranger, embarked on an extraordinary journey from his humble beginnings as a stowaway on the Terra Venture space colony. Driven by a thirst for adventure and a desire to explore the unknown, he defied his older brother's wishes and ventured into the portal to Miranoi, where his destiny as a ranger unfolded. After witnessing the Quasar Saber's discovery, Leo received the red Quasar Saber from his brother Mike as he was falling into a pit. It was a super crazy emotional way to start off Power Rangers. The guy that's supposed to be the Red Ranger just falls and dies real quick, right? But before he falls, he gives the sword or the Quasar Saber to Leo and he became the Red Galaxy Ranger. Throughout the series, he displayed bravery, facing Scorpius and eventually defeating him single-handedly. His stubbornness and hot-headedness were tempered by his close friendship with Damon, Maya, Kendricks, and Kai, who supported and challenged him in equal measure. Leo's bond with his Galacta Beast was forged through Maya's teachings, enabling him to communicate with it and understand its emotions. He faced challenges with Kai over his initial status as a stowaway, but they eventually became close friends. With Damon, he shared an easygoing and laid-back rapport. In a fateful showdown with Furio, Leo nearly lost his life, but was saved by the Magna Defender, a being that possessed his brother Mike's body when he fell into the pit. The Magna Defender basically claimed it and is now in possession of it. Despite the Magnet Defender's questionable morales, Leo believed in his potential for redemption. There was a really touching scene when the Magnet Defender sacrificed his life, but by doing so, he not only stopped the plan of the day from the monsters and villains, but he also brought back Mike. That was an awesome point to see those brothers reunite, and it was amazing to watch them fight side by side as Mike the new Magnet Defender and Leo the leader and Red Ranger of the team. When Leo questioned his rightful ownership of the Red Quasar Saber, Mike affirmed his brother's destiny as the Red Galaxy Ranger. This conflict was resolved when Mike became the new Magnet Defender. Leo's bravery and determination culminated in the final battle against Trakina, where he sacrificed his battleizer to destroy her and nearly lost his own life in the process. Throughout his journey as the Red Galaxy Ranger, Leo proved his unstoppable spirit, his loyalty to his friends, and his belief in the power of redemption. He emerged as a hero, embodying the values of courage, sacrifice, and the bonds of family and friendship. Absolutely loved this character. Like I said, he's one of my favorites because he wasn't the chosen one. He was actually a character that was kind of a screw up in the beginning, but he ended up being one of the best leaders. So this character, Leo, has been making a comeback time and time again. So we saw him in Trakina's Revenge. He teamed up with the Lightspeed Rescue Rangers. 
Then a few years later, we saw him in Forever Red, where all the Red Rangers at the time teamed up to stop the rest of the Machine Empire. Then many years later in Super Mega Force Legendary Battle, we saw the Lost Galaxy Rangers show up, including Leo. And then I know it's just a very small appearance, and I didn't talk about this in Kai or Damon's video, but I did want to point out that the Lost Galaxy Rangers were technically in the 30th anniversary special once and always you do see the red green and blue lost galaxy rangers shrunken down and tied up to rita's time machine so that was kind of cool that they still talked about lost galaxy all these years later he was a great character and one more thing i wanted to point out before i end the video he had a bunch of different vehicles so he had the red jet jammer the Red Astro Cycle, he had a horse for an episode, and then if you didn't think that was enough, they gave him the Red Capsular Cycle, or whatever you call it. This is pretty cool, man. Hella toys to sell. Lost Galaxy was a fun season. I think I was like eight or nine when this came out, so I was attached to it, and I remember that finale was bonkers watching Trakina turn into that giant alien bug looking thing and then the red ranger almost dies he uses battleizer to like basically blow up both of them craziness man that was also the last time we saw something super dark i think that was the season where Trakina like attached bombs to her sting wingers and then like unleashed them on the megazords and blew up the megazords like they don't do that no more that's like uh you know that was a pre 9-11 thing now you know that they, they don't they don't do stuff like that anymore so this was like an all-out crazy season that you most likely will never see again unless we go tv 14 like we've been talking about because there's some things that you just can't do in tv no more for kids and there a few things were done in this season it's interesting but what are your guys thoughts let me know in the comments shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content we love you guys appreciate you guys and realize without you guys we couldn't be able to make content like this so thanks again and we'll see you next time rangers peace i just want to give a special shout out to the gold ranger members out there the arctic operator roderick ham papillon purple salima ramirez danny nascimento stephen heffelman chaos draco thomas franco anime king nick Lewis Cairns, Miguel Ortiz, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. I just want to shout out all of the fans out there for taking the time out of their day to watch this content. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you can, please like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that share button. And if you guys want to be a member, click that join button right now. We have a Blue Ranger membership that gets you into the exclusive fan chat discord then we have the gold ranger membership it gets you into the fan chat but you also get a video shout out at the end of every video i want to thank you guys again if you can sign up to be a member we will see you next time peace hi hi we're bulk and skull we, we are, are requested, requested by, by the, the fan club to say, say something funny. <laughs>